Hello you gorgeous people, it's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture in wet, cold, miserable Sydney. So let's have a look at what we've got. Not the best quality top, I'm not going to lie. But I literally have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I do know that these horrible things have been coming off. Oh, look, this was an old lady. She's no longer with us. Um, the daughter sold it. And these were in the drawers. They smell of lavender. I'm not throwing them away. So cute. Oh, that's good. I was really worried they were going to be glued on then and really damage the drawer fronts. Right, so what I'm going to do first is just try and sand this and see what I've got. Honestly, I literally don't know if this is wood, if it's laminate or if it's veneer. I've never had a piece where I haven't been able to work it out from looking at it. It looks very plasticky. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. It's solid wood. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm really shocked, but very pleasantly surprised. So I'm just gonna get on and sand the top of these. I'm, th I'm gonna have a go at sanding the drawer fronts. I tried to plan this job, guys, but I've gone around in circles, so I'm just gonna wing it. Right, so I sanded these drawers just to see what they would look like and I'm just not feeling it. It's just not giving me the right vibe. I don't know why. Firstly, I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to decide, decide. I'm thinking I'll probably go stencils on the drawers. I'm going to do a 50-50 mix of Tide Pool Silk and Hampton Olive. Hey girls, they've still got their PJs on. You. So I'm not going to actually measure it. This is just going to be a rough 50-50 mix. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's like a light sage. Look at it. Right. I've got my mix. i got my mini. Let's get it on. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a light olive. This is gonna be just two coats. Right, I'm gonna order more Tide Pool and Hampton Olive, and I'm gonna smash everything with it. I might even um, distress this one a little bit. The silk paint is not made for distressing, but you can. It's just easier to distress with chalk. I mean, the reason you use silk is because it's got the built-in primer, it's got the built-in top coat, so you don't need to do anything else. If you distress it, then obviously you then need to seal it. So what I'll do is I'll paint the entire thing and do the top, which I think I'm going to do like a bleach wood effect on. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do with the drawers. Because I haven't even thought about the drawer pull yet either. One day I'm going to shock you all and I'm just going to start a video and say, right, this is what I'm doing, and I'm going to stick to it. I think it'd be me shop more than anyone else if that ever happened. The thing is, when you plan a project, I don't know how you can plan a project when you don't know what's going to be looked like till it gets on there. I can generally see a piece and I get ideas. It just evolves when I'm working on it.
Right, I've decided I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to do any stenciling on the drawers. I'm just going to keep it simple because this colour is just beautiful. Now I'm going to go create a bleached wood look on the top. So I've got watered down cotton. I don't know what the percentage is. 10 to 1, 20 to 1, something like that. I want to brush it on with a chip brush and then wipe it off. So I don't, I'm not looking for a white look here. I just want to lighten it. Well, basically I want to keep it light. Because if I was to put just a clear coat, satin clear coat or gator hide on top of this, it would bring out the natural wood colour, which would be yellowy, orangey. And I don't want that. So doing this allows me to keep it light. See? So then when I put a clear coat on top of that, it's going to stay light. And I'm just doing it in sections because I don't want it to set up on it. I can keep going back and get it as opaque as I want it but you're better to just go light and then add to it rather than putting on too much so after this then I just need to put a top coat on I'll probably go with gator hide just on the top the body doesn't need it because it's silk and then she's ready for photos I haven't decided on the draw pulls yet but I will and you'll see her very soon well that's a wrap I'm absolutely over the moon with this one. 50-50 makes Hampton Olive and Tide Pool. The top is just a, a whitewash with cotton, chalk mineral cotton. Um, it's probably about 20 to 1, but honestly, just play with it. Keep it as thin as possible to start with, and then you can thicken it up if you need to, or just add extra layers. Okay, I'll list all the products in the description. Thanks so much for sticking with me, and I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.